Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. We're here doing Happy Home Paradise again and you already know what's going on. You see Marty in the background. Basically, we're doing Marty's home. I feel like there's not much to say. Let's just get into the thing. So if you have been watching the channel, you know that I recently flattened my old European town core island in favor of starting an all blue starry night themed island. So the next couple happy home videos are going to be me doing houses for all of the lovely villagers that I very politely kicked off of my past island. And we're starting that off with Marty today. Now, I moved him over so I didn't have to lose him into the void, but I forgot that I do have his amiibo card, so I really didn't really, you know, I didn't need to do that. But basically what he asked for was like, I forgot his exact words. I think we'll see them at the end again, but it's like a come and go calorie snack bar or something. So basically he wanted half gym, half snack place. You know, that's kind of a mood. I think every gym should also be a snack place. So rather than me just going off on whatever design impulses I was feeling, I was thinking, you know what? Let's actually do what he wants. I could have just made this a very cute, yellow, cozy space, but instead the man wanted a gym slash snack place. So that's what we're giving him. I don't know why I decided on ice cream as the snack. I guess why not? It sounds like a pretty good snack to decide on. And for the gym, it's kind of more like, okay, it's a fun gym. It's the kind of gym I would actually go to. I probably couldn't use any of the items because I'm like chronically ill, <laughs> but you know, we got a rock wall. I think this whole beginning half is like a Zumba slash yoga maybe jazzercise. I think Marty's a jazzercise boy. Are you going to tell me that I'm wrong? It's a fun gym. You know what I mean? It's got to be a fun gym because like you're doing your jazzercise right on like a rainy Tuesday afternoon for some reason. And then you got to be, you got to have a reward. You know what I mean? And the ice cream is the reward. I mean, unless you're doing it the opposite way and having the ice cream, then the jazzercise. But I feel as though that could lead to some very unhappy stomachs. Or maybe that is just me just scared to work out. Maybe, maybe you need to eat ice cream and then work out. Maybe that's the way to do it. So yeah, that's what I'm pretty much doing here. I don't really think I'm doing anything too cuckoo crazy. I think, you know, adding in those carpet wood tiles thing is always a really fun choice because it helps break up the space into two separate spaces. I mean, how else were we going to combine combine these two crazy things? There was a world where I did separate them entirely and made the entire bottom like the ice cream shop and then the entire top the gym. But if you know me and you know my Happy Home Paradise builds, you know I always got to make a bedroom. So upstairs is our bedroom, of course. Marty's got to have a place to sleep. He's not sleeping on the treadmill. Oh, I didn't even put a treadmill. He's not sleeping on the little bicycle machines that I don't know the name of. You know what I mean? He's just, he's just vibing. <laughs> um, anything else that I did, again, it's not really too, too cuckoo crazy here, but I will say I do hit max items on this. So the walls feel a little bit barren, but I'm kind of okay with it because I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of items going on. And sometimes when there's a lot, a lot of items going on all over the place, I feel like the wall items can just make it look a little kookier. So we did very light wall decor for this one. Now I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this room, which should be over shortly. Oh, it's over right now. Never mind. You don't get to enjoy it. Here it is. Here's the room. <laughs> you don't get to enjoy it. You get to enjoy me talking while showing you the room, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Here it is. I really like it. I don't know. I. You know what? I didn't think it was going to... I was worried I was going to abandon this design. I was worried I was going to just quit on Marty and just do whatever I wanted instead of what he wanted, but somehow I end up doing what he wanted. Now going upstairs, like I said, I always do kind of like a living slash bedroom space. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We're doing my favorite little peekaboo moment, having a nice little outdoor feature for Marty. I don't know why I kind of just wanted this one to be kind of small. Maybe because, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, because I wanted to? Not everything has a reason. The reason was, I, I don't know, Marty just gave me like, this man lives in a little shoebox and it's like relatable content and I love that for him. So that's exactly what this kind of is. It's like a quaint, tight space. He spent all of his rent on downstairs. I mean, he has a gym and an ice cream shop. So like, you know, 
He's prioritizing that over his bedroom, but that doesn't mean it can't be cute. It just means it's little. So I don't know. The, the vibe here was cute and yellow. I have made a house for Marty in the past. I did decorate the interior of all of my villagers' houses on my actual island, and it was just very... It was not too far of a, uh, of a difference from what his default interior is, to be honest. I kind of just, like, jazzed it up a little bit. Of course, we just did, like, yellow everything. And I'm just doing yellow everything here, too. But I'm making it a little bit more thought out. You know what I mean? Like, he's got different areas of his place. You know, he's a functioning human being. Or er, bear, cub, little cub, functioning cub. So he had to have some different things. You know, I gave him a little kitchenette. It's not very functionable because there are two sinks that are filled with dishes and there's no stove, but he doesn't need a stove. He's door dashing all day, every day. And like I said, it's relatable content. He does have a, a drying and washing machine combo. He, you know, he spent more money. He got the combo one. So it doesn't need to have two, which is good. He's got lots of stuffed animals. I mean, relatable again and just like lots of arts and craft projects all over the place and just like cute lights again we're not doing much on the walls here maybe because i just realized i don't really do like doing the walls that much at least i didn't today for some reason but anyway here is what the upstairs looks like i really like how i came out it's super you know it's pretty small it's not the smallest the room can be it's the smallest wide that could be but it's like you know, a little bit longer, which I kind of like because I don't often do that. And I don't know, it just feels very cute and cozy and Marty and I really enjoy what happened. And I love the confetti flooring. The confetti flooring just felt right to me. Like he just has been doing so many arts and crafts and has just been getting everything everywhere. Now for outside, I kept it pretty simple as I feel like I often do for outside. Maybe because I spend like literally four hours inside. So by the time I get to the exterior, I'm kind of like, all right, how much do I care about the exterior? I'm definitely more of an interior girl. Well, is that true? I don't really actually, I don't know. Ignore me, ignore me. So yeah, we're just kind of keeping it, you know, cute, yellow, tropical, a vibe. I realize I need to get some more custom paths, but like I've now gotten rid of all of the custom paths that I used to use because I'm doing an all blue island. So all my paths are blue now, which is great, but that's not great for happy home. I need more design slots. I need more design slots. Also, I hit the microphone and I apologize. <laughs> I apologize because I don't think I'm going to cut it out. So we're just keeping it chill. We have a nice little, you know, beachy chair moment. You could just relax under the umbrella, some bikes to get that kind of gym feeling. And I have a teddy bear off in the corner. I feel like that's Marty's friend and he's just hanging out. And there you go. That's the exterior. Again, like I said, pretty chill. Pretty chill, but still efficient. And now going inside, it's the best part of the video. It is time for montage time. I'm gonna stop talking for real this time and let you enjoy the fun little cute montage of Marty's weird little gym home. Oh look, Come and Go Calorie Castle. What a strange name, but I kept it. Anyway, enjoy the montage everyone. And there you have it. Well guys, thank you so so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. As always, let me know whose build are you most excited about next. We're still on our journey to make a house for every single villager, even even the ones I don't like. You know who that includes. <laughs> so let me know what you thought about today's video down below and who are you excited for me to see next. Thank you all so 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 much for being here. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking today's video. I am a content creator, 
and a streamer of Animal Crossing New Horizons and Happy Home Paradise specifically, and I post lots of fun stuff, and we would love to have you join us. Speaking of joining, memberships are now live on my channel, so go ahead and take a little peek at that. There are three tiers of memberships of the Sloth Squad, as I call them, and you know, no pressure at all, but if you can, I would love to have you be a part of our team and get the very special perks. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!